حفل مغني الراب الأمريكي ترافيس سكوت ولماذا كل هذا الجدل؟ هذا المطرب له خلفية سوداء معروف عنه أنه من أشد الداعمين لحركة الماسونية العالمية ومنظمة الأفرو سانتريك المناهضة للهوية المصرية والتراث المصري طبعا اتخذنا كافة الإجراءات القانونية لمنع أقامة هذا الحفل لأن هذا الحفل اتعود مغني الراب الأمريكي على أن هو يمارس في كافة الطقوس والممارسات الشيطانية سلامة المواطنين المصريين أغلى عندنا من أن احنا نقيم حفل عشان خاطر نبرر ان احنا بالنشط السياح Okay, so you may or may not know Travis Scott is looking to perform a concert in front of the Great Pyramid of Giza. And the company that's in charge of allowing permits to take place in Egypt for events and concerts, they are trying to do everything in their power to block it. And as you just saw, I don't know if they talk about this more often in Egypt, but I have never heard or even imagined that I would hear on the news someone talking about Freemasonry and devil rituals. They said rites, but rites and rituals, same thing. So that is pretty astonishing to me, I must say, to say he's part of a Freemason. I mean, we always hear these theories, these kind of conspiracy theories about these things, but that is pretty crazy, especially considering obviously he had a concert where people died. Yeah, going off of what I just saw, it's confirmed. He's he's demonic. He, he might be a demon himself. I don't know. <laughs> just going off of what I just saw. But let's be real. He did have concerts, like Kelly said, where people died. People were saying that was a satanic ritual. He's trying to harvest souls of some sort. He's doing this dangerous and, and evil ritual where he's harvesting souls. He's bringing people into his concerts. They're dying on stage. He keeps them going and going. There's a video of a girl saying, hey, I went to one of these concerts and it was demonic. I had to go, I had to leave. It was just satanic vibes. It was disgusting, it was disturbing. So there's that aspect of it. But there's also the aspect that what he was saying when he's talking about denying Egyptians heritage, there is something that a lot of people know that these Egyptians and the stuff that happened in ancient Egypt wasn't done by just ancient Egyptians. I mean, there's ancient aliens. Everyone knows that t that TV show. But there are different forces at play that happen that no one really knows the full truth of it. But in my personal belief, I do believe extraterrestrials did come and did change some things in Egypt. I mean, if you look at the king's chamber, if you look at these blocks, I mean, there's no way that uh, these people were able to get these large stones in there with the tools that they say that they had. If they show us and say, hey, these ancient people of Egypt, they had this, they had that, then yes, you know, it would be believable. But you're going to show us some stone tools and say, hey, they carved this granite perfectly in this stone with stone tools. It doesn't make any sense at all. So that's the angle that they're taking with that. So I would take whatever that man says with a grain of salt because he is reaching at this point because they are very particular and with their history and trying to make sure that people believe that whatever is, you know, is the, the norm truly happened. You look at Graham Hancock, he's banned from going to Egypt now because he has the theories that he has where he's saying that there was an ancient civilization that was able to travel across the world and change things. And, and he doesn't know exactly what happened. So he's trying to change the narrative and they don't like that at all. So Anybody that tries to go against their narrative, they're going to try and ban. They're going to try and silence. They're going to try and make sure that they don't go into their country. So, yes, I do believe that Travis Scott does do demonic things. People are dying in his astral world, all that. It's just crazy. I don't listen to his music. I heard a couple of songs. He has a couple of good songs. Um, his song with Drake and that album, that song's pretty good. But I'm not going and listening to Travis Scott album because... I, it just doesn't appeal to me. I don't really get what people really like about him to that extent. I mean, I'm not, you know, I don't want to hate on the guy. I wish him well. I wish everybody well. I hope he does get enlightened. I hope he's not doing demonic mm -hmm. rituals and I hope he's not doing the things that they're saying. But there clearly is an element of demonism to what he's doing. There's an element of negativity to what he's doing. Anytime you have a concert and people are dying, 
and you just live your life and carry on like nothing happened, it's it's pretty sick and it's pretty sad. Yeah, not taking much accountability for it from what I hear, but yeah, for some reason we've never been naturally just really into his music. I don't know why that is. And by the way, the man speaking is a very reputable lawyer. Now, I don't know if he knows this Freemason and demonic ritual stuff as a fact or if he's just kind of trying to use buzzwords that will make people shocked and really, really against it. I don't know. All I know is that what you saw is what I saw. And it's really interesting. It just had me going, wow, I've never heard someone say that, a lawyer say that on the news. And you always just hear kind of just people talking about it with, with theories and conspiracy theories. So I just found that to be really, really interesting and that they're working this hard to ban him. And it definitely is a fact. There's a lot, a lot of energy at the Great Pyramid of Giza and in these ancient sites. That's for sure. I hope that he's not trying to harness that energy for bad. I truly hope not. And I hope everything goes the way it's supposed to go and happens for the best. Whether he does perform, I hope it is just purely good. Or if he's really not meant to perform there then so be it. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely trying to harvest the energy, but to what extent, I don't know. And do I believe Travis Scott is some ancient god who can just harvest his energy and change the world with it? No, I don't believe that at all. So I don't believe there's anything to fear with him going there and having a concert. I would appreciate it if he didn't bring that demonic and Satan, that Satanism and that uh, <laughs> ancient masonry to these ancient sites. To that anywhere. would be To anywhere, let alone these ancient sites. So that would be great in and of itself. So I, I do agree with that part. And if he is going to do any of that, I think it should be highly regulated if he does go in the first place, because that is not appropriate for that land. And if people are dying and it's already in the desert, I don't know what's going to happen. So it's already hot in, in uh, Africa and in Egypt. So who knows what's going to happen, but I, I do wish him the, the best. Yeah, apparently Rock Nation, I believe, is the uh, company in charge they are still saying that it is going on and all is good to go with anyone purchasing tickets. So we shall see. But we just thought this was a really interesting thing to talk about. Yeah, yeah. And we'll keep our eye on this closely, our third eye. And <laughs> we'll see what happens. But from what I've seen, it's from of his concerts. And I, and I don't know if he's putting together this. A lot of these celebrities get wrapped up in this, the Satanism, this occultism, this Masonic symbolism they get wrapped up in it where they don't even know what they're doing until it's too late so yeah. i don't know if this is a situation where he's like brainwashed where he, he just goes out and performs his music and he might be a nice guy he just goes out and performs his music and they say hey travis wear this go out there do that we're already going to make the set for you everything's already set up and a lot of times they're just using these people as front men Puppet. as puppets and you know the puppeteers really directing everything and and showing everybody else, hey, this is the image we're going to put out there. This is what's going to happen. This is the image we want people to see. This is the vibration we want to put out of, of negativity and disharmony into the world. So I don't know how much control he has over that stuff. But all I know is the only way that you can stop this is by meditating. Go to Han Meditations. Start watching the meditations. I have meditations on my website, meditations on YouTube. I have meditations on Insight Timer. So Follow me, do these meditations, because once you're doing these meditations, you're putting out an intention, a positivity to the world, letting everybody know that this is what you stand for. You're for positivity and you're in love with the vibration of love and you're sending that out healing and oneness to the world. So that's how we can stop this evilness. I agree. Listen to Han Meditations. Keep those vibrations way, way up and none of this will even matter to you. Exactly. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.